From VOA Learning English, this is the Technology Report. The lack of rainfall in California is good for people who like to swim in the Pacific Ocean. Because of the dry conditions, there is less water runoff from cities entering the Pacific. As a result, the ocean water is cleaner. But pollution remains a problem in other areas. Angelo Bellomo works for the Los Angeles County Department of Public Health. He says people can become infected with a number of diseases from swimming in polluted water. California public health officials are looking for a fast way to identify water quality levels in coastal areas. Currently, they use laboratory tests. If the tests show the water quality is poor, warning signs are placed along the coast. But because lab workers need more than a day to perform the test, the information on the signs can be outdated. Leslie Griffin works for an environmental group called Heal the Bay. She says that under the current system, the lab results are ready in 18 to 24 hours. Until testing can be sped up, researchers in California are using what they call a predictive modeling system. It makes an educated guess about water quality. Heal the Bay says the system can make a prediction in as little as 15 minutes. The process is known as now casting. Researchers use computers to gather information about the environment. The data includes wind speed, and direction, information about ocean waves, and recent bacterial levels. Because each coastal community is different, computer models are created for each one. Hong Kong and the American state of Ohio use similar methods for predicting water quality. For VOA, Learning English. I'm Jonathan Evans.